All right, what is going on? Today, I was speaking to you through my phone because I forgot something to hook up my mic and I don't, I don't wanna walk, I don't wanna walk back home at all. So I found a spot here on the grass. If you zoom in, mm, mm, lots, lots of people back there. I want to talk to you about what is attractive about stuttering. Three things that women find attractive about stuttering. Now this is, this video is specifically about what women find attractive, not so much about what men. Even though there is some similarities women are attracted to men for different reasons biologically than what men are attracted to females for so this is just talking about what females find attractive about stuttering and also to preface doggo this isn't something that i'm just pulling out of my ass this is me from my experience and from my research and from my years of diving into this about going from a very shy ashamed person who stutters who was so ashamed to even speak so for a few days in a row i would just be silent to now not needing to hide my stutter at all not feeling the desire to and not caring if i stutter or not meaning i barely stutter at all now the two different versions of myself and what I've experienced along the journey of what is very attractive to females, to women. And again, this is backed by research too, if you wanna do the research. So the first thing I wanna say before I begin is the most important thing is if a woman finds your stutter attractive, the most important must have aspect the woman must have is emotional maturity if she's fucking 14 if she's 16 if she's 26 like I'm, I'm saying 14 if you're around that age too but like if she's older too but she acts like a 14 year old and she has the emotional maturity of a teenager then this doesn't apply this doesn't apply because those people are very superficial um, and although their biological desires might um, tell them one thing their preconceptions and superficial ideas will be too overwhelming in their mind to tap into their natural state if that makes sense so that's all i, I want to say to that is if they're if they're emotionally not mature then this doesn't apply to them i've met a few people like that in my life um and the second thing i want to preface with is what's most important is how you stutter how you stutter if you're ashamed you're nervous and you're pushing pushing with a lot of tension then you're going to be uncomfortable then you're only projecting anxiety and the female the girl you're talking to is not going to feel comfortable either if you're not feeling comfortable so how you stutter plays a big role in this and that's why it's so so important to work on becoming comfortable with stuttering, to work on not caring if you stutter, to work on overcoming it so it's no longer playing a role in how you speak, in who you speak to, and when you, and when you speak. And that's what overcoming stuttering is about. So if you wanna address that, and if you want the authentic way to overcome that, then remember, you, you can book a free call with me down below in the description. Um, the, first, the first link, you can book a free call with me and we can talk and see if you would be a good fit for the program. 
So let's hop into the three reasons why. The first reason stuttering is attractive is its security. And what I mean by security is when you are stuttering and you're, say you're on a date and you're looking at the girl or the, or the no, the girl. <laughs> when you're looking at the girl in the eyes and you s s stutter, but you don't flinch. You just look at her and you s s s stutter, but you don't flinch. You don't lose eye contact. That shows so much security in yourself. You have so much trust and security in who you are because a weak man will flinch at the near thought of doing something that isn't normal. When most men have insecurity that, or a, a flaw they think they have that other people don't have, the moment that comes up, they will flinch, they'll look away, they'll repress, they will hide. So for you to just stay there, stoic, like nothing happened and continue speaking that shows so much security and confidence in yourself and when you're that strong foundationally the woman will feel like she can unravel will feel like there's a solid rock in front of me and he's not judging himself he's sure of himself I'm he, he will not judge me and that is so fucking magical when she feels that and being calm with your stutter brings that out so that's the first point massive the second point that is so fucking attractive when you stutter is your vulnerability Brené Brown I, I don't know what kind of doctor form she has you can look her up if you don't know who she is Brené Brown she talks about the number one thing for connection, for connecting with another human, is vulnerability. And that is so true. Like, you need to be vulnerable, meaning you, you need to show yourself, you need to show your, your true self openly in order to connect with others, in order to allow other people to share themselves openly so you guys can really connect heart to heart but if you have a wall up if you have a front up if you have a if you're using a persona you cannot have true connection and vulnerability is the number one thing for connection and i believe there's nothing more vulnerable than stuttering openly because it, it shows more than just a stutter. It shows your tension level in your body. It shows your, like that's what it comes down to. It expresses your level of tension in this environment, in this situation, in this conversation. And for you to show what's inside of you, what's, what your thoughts, what your doubts, what your beliefs are, and project them externally in the form of a stutter, is so fucking vulnerable and that's why it's scary to do but to be able to do that to stutter openly is the most vulnerable fucking thing that you can do and when you do it and again you don't flinch that shows so much strength and it will allow her to open up as well and again that is fucking beautiful when it happens and super attractive and the third way that, stu that stuttering can be super fucking attractive is if you are cool with your stutter and you do not need to resist it you do not need to hide it that means you do not give a fuck that means you do not give a fuck about if you stutter or if you don't you're outcome independent and for you to go into the in, in the process of the journey to not give a fuck about your stutter, you will also learn to not give a fuck about a lot of things. About people's opinions, 
about people's judgments, about people's reactions. Meaning you will not be speaking to please anybody anymore. You won't be speaking to prove yourself. You'll be speaking simply because you want to speak. And because it is authentic to you to say this. Not because you're trying to twist any type of outcome so that it's favorable for you. No, it's just because this is you. And this is something that can be sensed by w women within the first few seconds. Is if you are being, if you, if you are outcome independent, if you're authentic, if you don't give a fuck, that can be sensed immediately just from the way you walk, just from the way you carry yourself. I think there's a bug that keeps flying into my ear. Just by the way you carry yourself can be sensed. And that also shows that, hey, if he doesn't take himself that seriously, hey, if he, he doesn't care what people think of him, then I can be myself around him too. He won't judge me because he's not judging himself. And that's, again, I feel like I keep saying that, but that's where the magic happens. That's when she feels safe. But when you're so uptight about what people think, how people are looking at you, how you sound, then it's gonna be walking on stilts, walking on a tightrope every time you talk to her. And that's gonna be super stifled. You won't say the things you truly wanna say, and you're just gonna be a small fucking version of yourself. So security, vulnerability, and not giving a fuck are the three things that if you have a stutter, you have the opportunity to become so fucking high in, to honor these so much and biologically women love it fucking love it but you have to change your relationship with your stutter first you 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 have to change the way you relate to stuttering how you relate to other people's opinions and until you do that you will not be able to stutter openly you'll not be able to be cool with it you won't be able to be your true fucking self so again if you are serious about overcoming your stutter and you want more details of how I help people and what we work on and what kind of outcomes would be available for you if we were to work together look at the closest link down below in the description and you can book your free one-on-one -on -one call with me we'll hop on a quick call and see if we would be a good fit to work together all right so I love you I hope that was insightful and inspiring to take this shit seriously. I love you.